Hello, today we're going to be installing a CCTV camera system on this industrial unit. So the camera we're going to be installing is going to be under the eaves, therefore it's going to have some protection from water ingress and UV. We have opted for the FSU conduit system. The other options we considered were FPAS, LFHU, BRD and LTP. So we're going to be using FSU conduit which has a galvanised steel core. Therefore we need to clamp it securely and cut it with a fine tooth hacksaw. So as you can see, the compression fitting is nice and easy to fit. and offers IP65 rating. Okay, so now to fit the conduit onto the CCTV camera. Now to fit the conduit into the camera. On this one, it's mounted in the mounting bracket. I have used a thread reducer to reduce the aperture from 25mm to 20 for the fitting. I have also used a fibre washer before and after the thread reducer to retain the IP rating. Now all I need to do is tighten the fitting and the fitting into the thread reducer. To finish, I will mount the other end of the conduit into the power box using a swivel fitting to make it easier. This camera can pan, tilt and zoom within its own housing. However, if you did have one with continuous movement, you could use another product from the Flexicom range. Potentially, the cabling is the most vulnerable part of a CCTV installation. To ensure the continued operation, you need to make sure that it's properly protected. Therefore, correct choice and installation of the conduit system is vital.